Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, himself, who is the greatest of creation, the most noble of all prophets of Allah, he says, fear Allah, be conscious of Allah, treat your spouse with respect, fulfill the rights of each other. The problem with us when we want to control the lives of others, it depicts the biggest weakness in us. We are very happy to be here sharing these beautiful moments with the families of the bride and the groom and about to witness the officiation of the sacred union of Nikah, which comes with great responsibility. And this responsibility is something that definitely needs to be fulfilled from all parties and by all parties. From amongst us, there are those, primarily those who are getting married. And I want to give them the words given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, repeated by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wherein he says, Ittaqullah, be conscious of Allah. Remember, you are taking each other with the name of Allah. Don't forget that. Don't do that which will displease Allah. Don't swear, don't scream, don't shout, don't yell, and don't be abusive. That's it respect each other these are the words of advice from allah himself the maker who made us the prophet muhammad peace be upon him himself who is the greatest of creation the most noble of all prophets of allah he says fear allah be conscious of allah treat your spouse with respect fulfill the rights of each other so inshallah the beginning of this beautiful union should always be within that which will please Allah. Then from amongst us, besides the bride and the groom, there are the families. Bride side, groom side, you have to have a lot of patience. You have to compromise here and there because there are two different families in every case. In fact, if you are too closely related, you're not even allowed to get married because that would make you a mahram. So Allah wants you to go a bit further. He wants you to make relatives. He wants you to fulfill the act of worship known as taking care of your relatives by giving you the chance. A few days ago, I was speaking to a group of youngsters who didn't know their forefathers, their names. And I told them, do you know to get to know the names of your relatives is an act of worship? How are you related to that uncle? They'll say, well, my sister-in-law's brother's wife is actually... Uh, uh, you know, the daughter of such and such a person's uncle. Whoa, it sounded so complicated. The fact that you know it, you have a reward. Do you know why? Because it's only when you know a relative that you can fulfill the right of a relative. I mean, how can I fulfill your right? I don't even know uh, your connection between the connection between you and I. So we will be related and the reward is connected to the fact that it's not easy to get along with people further away, even closer. It's not easy. So there's a bigger reward. You must learn not to be too fussy about things. You must learn not to want things your way all the time. You must learn it. It's an act of worship. What is it? It's not something farad or haram. It's something else. Where to eat, what to eat, what time, etc. You can have a change here and there. No big deal. Just be happy and lead your life. May Allah grant us ease. The problem with us when we want to control the lives of others, it depicts the biggest weakness in us. The strongest people are those who don't have the urge to control the lives of everyone around them. Those are strong. Why? Because I know my link with Allah. Allah allows them to do certain things. Who am I to disallow those things? So that's a very important piece of advice. Similarly, from amongst us, there are those who are married. It's important for us to work on our marriages. Like I said, we may have turbulence. It's normal to have a few disagreements, a few misunderstandings, but it's not normal to make that a source of abuse and a source of discord to the degree of belittling someone, hurting them, harming them. No, let's solve our problems. To solve your problems is an act of worship, major act of worship. The Quran speaks about it. Allah speaks about how there is no goodness in private meetings unless you're doing one of a few things. And one of them is trying to resolve matters between people. You have a private meeting. People say, why are you guys meeting in private? Say, look, we're trying to solve a problem. Allah says, wow, you are rewarded for that. Then from amongst us, there are those who are not married. Make an effort, inshallah. 
Don't be too fussy. Sometimes you have to compromise a thing or two. You'll never get 100%. If you get 80, 90, oh, you, 80 is brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. MashaAllah, 80% compatibility. That's like a match made in heaven. Subhanallah. Match made in heaven. 20% you have to compromise. There's no chance that you're going to get 100% compatibility. So thank Allah. Make an effort. Don't delay unnecessarily. And sometimes we're in a comfort zone. When you're single, you become accustomed to this comfort zone, male and female. And so you don't want to emerge. You don't want to come out. You don't want to dive into the deep sea. You have to. You have to. Otherwise, life does not continue. So mashallah, to the groom and the bride, I say, may Allah bless your union. To the families, I say, may Allah bring you together in his service for the betterment of yourselves and the communities and for service to the deen. Now, just quickly before I officiate this nikah, I will start with a few words of khutbah. It's the sunnah practice of the Prophet ﷺ to say a few words of advice at the occasion, upon the occasion of nikah. I've already said words in English. We'll say it in Arabic. We'll read a few verses, inshallah. You'll hear them. Thereafter, there are so many ways of officiating this nikah. We can actually bring the... I was in Nigeria last week and we officiated about seven, eight. There, they don't play games. Everything is wholesale. So when there's a nikah, there's not just one nikah. There's about ten, five, one time, you know. So there were so many nikahs. They did one khutbah and they, and they you know, made the nikahs happen. Neither the bride is there nor the groom. The bride is representative by her fa uh, represented by her father. And the groom is represented also by someone of the home, either an uncle or a dad. Neither of them are there. I'm sure you guys are not really accustomed to that right two of them are somewhere else the one guy says oh i was busy at kfc eating i said you know and he was getting married so they they that's how they get married there and some imams would make you hold hands because obviously you know it's an it's a sacred union and instead of asking a question to you have you given your daughter or do you give your daughter they would make you say the statement it's the same thing it's just that they make you say it and then what we do, and especially during COVID, we've actually, a lot of people have said, you know what, rather than coming and shaking hands and all of that, we can ask the question simply, have you given your daughter? Yes, I have. Have you accepted? Yes, I have. And we're done. The nikah is done. There is an ijab, the proposal, there is an acceptance, there are witnesses, there's a mahar. You don't need to know the exact mahar for as long as they know, it's fine. Because the reason is mahar is not a competition. For us, we say, how much is it? They say, one Kruger Rand. Oh, wow, that's a common one, right? <laughs> say, half a Kruger Rand, right? They might say, a thou a 5,000 Rands, 2,000, 1,000 Rands. I swear, I've been to a place where they said 200,000 US dollars. And in my mind, I said, I'll never mention this in the public because it's not a competition. The other guy will say, you gave 200, I'll give 500. It's not a competition. Look after my daughter. Even if you didn't give much, it's fine. I want you to respect my child. That's it. So inshallah, let's do it this way by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Hope this video was helpful for you. This may help others too. So please consider sharing. And we will bring more videos in the future inshallah. So consider subscribing and you won't miss any. Jazakallah khairan.